time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live Friday, September 15th I would say hope everyone's having a great day of trading, but I think I already know the answer. A little bit bloody out there, my friends. A little blood in the streets. But it's time for power hour. Never know. Could bring us back. So, looks like even with all this down move, still are looking at a straddle. 45.55 at the moment. Give it some time. Buy some longs. <clears throat> pep talk. You need a pep talk? Just play the probabilities, my friend. That's all I got for you. Play the probabilities. Mama told me there'd be days like this. This is one of those days. Part of the deal. I'm sure that doesn't help any, but that's what I got for you. That's that's the real talk. And hey, if, if there's a if if I have a big power hour, I'll be green on the day. It's gotta be a big power hour. Could get bloodier. You never know. But we shall see. Only way to know is to play. <laughs> I like it, Uga. I like it. Yeah, so I uh, already posted, but I got <clears throat> I did an AM iron condor, AM ratio. I did a duck. Did some discretionary JSPs and I did a DKS, got stopped out of all of them. Could not sustain the flush. The expected move low to start the day was about 44.80 and we got down to 44.47. Price coming down a little bit. Looks like it may be the 4450 straddle. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain. It's been a good, it's been a good September, really. It's been a good week. It's been a good couple weeks. But today was bloody. Oh, yeah, I'm still up. Yeah, I'm up big in September.
All right, tranche one looks like the 4450 or 4455. It's a little closer on the 4455. All right, 4455 straddle. I get filled at seven fifty five, seven sixty. Fill at seven fifty five for tranche one. <clears throat> so I was trying to get my, I was trying to do my trader sync here. So here's my, here's zero DTE for September. Not counting today, of course. Up uh, almost fifty three k. Okay. So will today put a little dent in that? Yes, yes, it will. But I think I'm down like 12 today. Well, I don't I don't know specifically zero DTE. I think somewhere in that ballpark. 11, 12, something like that. So we've got all right, so if we look at the different strategies for September. So let's do, we'll just go in order here. AM ratios, <clears throat> I'm up about 9,400 on those. Again, this is not counting today. DKS, down about 1,000. Zero day ducks. Have I not had any other ducks? I guess today was the only duck this month. <clears throat> JSPs. Down about 1,100. Power hour. Definitely the big winner. Up uh, a little over 36K power hour so far this month. PM iron condors, pretty much a scratch. Quiet lunches, quiet lunches up almost 9,000. And Rick, Why is my Rick not showing up? Oh, I know. So, well, okay, yeah. So take take the different category, all, all the P and L's correct, but take the different categories. They they may be a little off. I've got a ticket into Trader Sync. Any anybody else using Trader Sync? Is it are you having issues? I've had it, I've had I have several positions where it uh I go in the next day and it recategorize my setup like i've i have a situation where i've got like a power hour tranche two that was supposed to be categorized as a pm iron condor and when i try to when i try to relabel it it um it it gives me a warning and i'm getting like an error message so i've got it i've got to take it in with trader sync they're supposed to be fixing that so the breakdown of the different strategies the pnl may be a little bit off the total is correct but i'm trying to Figure out what the deal is on that. Anybody else using Trader Sync have that issue? First, it started at the beginning of this week and they still haven't fixed it yet. Mirage, you had that same issue? Yeah, kind of frustrating. So I'd go in and I'd load the next day and then I'd be looking at you know, like the previous week or whatever. And I, you know, I was looking at power hour and it said like <clears throat> on, on one day it had like tranche two a couple different times on the same day. And I was like, well, that's not right. So I looked at it and I was like, no, that's a, uh, 
that's a PM iron condor. <clears throat> Tried to change it. Wouldn't let me change this the setup the way that I tag them. But I'm sure they'll get it fixed. They better get it fixed. All right. Power hour getting a little bounce. We've got a uh, uh, put calendar in NDX. It's down a little bit, creeping down towards the downside. I will be entering a 6.7 and a 3.5 DTE double calendar before the end of the day. Entered a couple time flies. Here's the one I just entered, not, not much change there. And then when I entered earlier this morning, this is uh, hovering over more to the left of the graph, but it's up a couple hundred. So layered in with another one at a different expiration. One's got set 29, one's got October 5. Added a new short strangle in the queues. Held off on another duck today. I've got three. I want to see if we get any more continuation lower. I mean, we're just we're just to the bottom of this consolidation area where we've been for a couple weeks. So I don't want to load up on too many ducks until I see if we're going to actually have a little little more action to the downside. Got a short strangle in oil that's doing okay. The puts we got in at 104. They've been hovering at around 40% of max profit. Yeah, they're not quite to 50 yet, so. Nothing to do there yet. We've got a ES, a couple ES hedgehogs that are doing just fine. Got a strangle in the euro. It's not quite to profit target yet. We've adjusted it a couple times, rolled calls down a couple times on it. <clears throat> yep, FOMC next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll still do the six seven for sure. So for FOMC, we will not be streaming for power hour, but we will be streaming during the FOMC. So we'll start about 10 minutes before the data is released. So at about 1250 PM central. And then we'll stream into the little, little ways into the press conference at least.
Question for the group. Did anyone not participate in power hour when it was part of their plan based on what happened with their other positions earlier today? Anyone brave enough to confess? Raj. I mean, no, no shame. I'm just, I, I just want to, I just want to have a discussion about it. Tivas, I'm in, but scared. <laughs> okay, good. It's honest. Well, and that's different, Frank D. Like if you, if you have a max risk where, you know, it's part of your plan, you know, if you hit a certain loss limit and you're done for the day, that's, that's different. But if that's not part of your plan and you, you know, you just took, you know, took some hits on some earlier positions and you're just not doing it because you're, you're scared. I, I get it. I understand that. But the other thing to consider is, are, is that because you were trading too big, right? If you're, if you're position sized correctly, then, and it's part of your plan to take all the positions, then you should be, I'd highly suggest, you know, following, following through that plan. So again, not trying to, not trying to pick a, pick on anyone or anything like that. I just, you know, I think it's a, I think it's, it's good to, feel this kind of thing and understand why you're making the decisions you are you know, trading such a big game of self-awareness. I mean, listen, I, I wasn't excited about putting all this risk on the table after what's happened today either, but I also look at it from a perspective of, I know what my risk is. I understand that days like this are going to happen and I've got to be okay with that. Otherwise my positions are too big. A percent drop, like percent of my entire account. Um, I don't know. It, I mean, so I, you know, I trade zero DTE in the same account that I trade my portfolio margin stuff that I trade my, you know, some of my calendars. So I'm just trying to think just anecdotally what just remembering seeing a percentage. I, and I, I don't, you know, like if you look on your phone on toss, it shows, you know, your percent up or down for the day on the platform. It doesn't even show that. So I don't, I don't know. I would say, <clears throat> And this would this will be in recent history, like say the last couple of years, maybe, or let's say year to date, because that's when I've been trading mostly. Um, that's when I started trading a little heavier in zero DTE. I would say, oh gosh, I don't know, six percent maybe, down six percent. It would be probably the biggest one I remember seeing. which it, you know, that's, it's pretty painful for me. I don't, I don't really want to see anything more than that. About five minutes until tranche two.
All right, so tranche two, <clears throat> let me buy some longs. I'm getting my uh, <clears throat> six, seven filled over here. I just posted that in the cal calendar channel. All right, so for tranche two, I'd have ourselves a little five point strangle. 55s and 50s. Low premium, five point strangle. Now it may be the 55 straddle. <clears throat> Give it another 30 seconds or so. It's right in between on the put side. All right, technically it's the five point strangle, it looks like. Tranche two, five wide, four, 10, four, 15. Fill it four, 10, 55, 50s. Okay, 50 to 55 is our sweet spot. <clears throat>
All right, sorry about that. I had to respond to my son. All right, so yeah, 50 to 55 here. I'll be entering, I entered a 6.7 DTE about the same time as tranche two. And then a little bit later here, I will be entering a 3.5 DTE. So Wuga, that was, uh, yeah, I think I was close to 20% and it was before CPI or PPI, one of the two. So I was just, I just took some chips off the table, closed part of it. Yeah, same here. We got I had a I had an order at twenty percent. Didn't quite get there, and I just thought, you know, I just I'm gonna I'm not gonna close the whole thing, but I just want to take some chips off. It's, I think I I don't know. I got eighteen percent or something like that. <clears throat> All right. So let's see, tranche one, I got in at 7.55. So 4.55 is what I'm looking for to reduce my stop on tranche one. Tranche two, I got in at 4.10. So I'm looking for 245. Yikes. That's low. For 245 before I reduce my stop on tranche two. But it is a strangle, so. Tranche one currently trading at 590. Tranche two currently trading at 420. A little bounce here up towards 
I haven't even really seen any news. What was the uh, was there a cat was there an actual catalyst for this move lower today? Or is it just a little profit taking sell off? Yeah, I saw that. I, I mean, that was kind of a known, wasn't it? That was pretty much guaranteed to happen. Tranche one at 580, I need 450. Tranche two is at 370, I need 245. So I got a little ways. A couple minutes until tranche three. Because I thought I saw like, yeah, I mean, Ford is, Ford is up today. Tesla's not really in that mix, but it's down slightly. What other GM? GM's up, so. Big losers today are AMD's down big, Meta, Nvidia. Yeah, so the chips, chips are down big. Amazon's down a couple, couple percent. MU, Nvidia, and AMD are down big. So semiconductors getting, getting banged. AMC, AMC Theaters is up three percent though. That should be holding things up. All right, tranche three, looking at a 55-50 strangle, it looks like. Tranche three, five wide. I get filled at 350. Filled at 350 on the 5550 strangle. All right. Let's see if we could just hover here between 50 and 55, we'd be good to go. Elliot, yeah, you're, Elliot's bringing down the market today, I think, is what happened. The biggest loser of them all. Yeah, I just, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, not sure about options expiration. I mean, Options expiration tends to be a little bit more bullish. 
if anything. Well, let's hope it got it all out of its system earlier today. We're just going to float in to the end. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Apollos. Thanks a lot. If we get smoked, we know who to blame. Well, my friends, only uh, 32 minutes to go. Might feel like five minutes underwater. What else do you guys want to talk about? You guys got any good topics to pass the time? Oh, yeah, Dick K. Let's see, what is today? The 15th? So that was what, like the 19th or 20th? Got any more wagers? Get some action going today. That'll pass the time. Option op, options for dollar. Is that is that your profile name? Did I get that right? Yes, I let the I let my longs expire because they're going to be they're probably already worthless. Forty four twenty fives are worth five cents. My forty four fifteens are worth five cents. My forty four tens are zero. So yep, those are those the longs are there for just capital efficiency and you know max max risk. Wuga, you're a grandpa? You got your high school pick as your profile? That's not 10 years old. That's not bad. Looking young and spry. Two and four years old. 
Yeah, that was not my favorite age for my kids. <laughs> I, I much more enjoy the somewhat self self sustainable age. Once you get them out of out of diapers and out of car seats, that's a big that's a big jump. It's a big deal. Now I'm into a house full of teenagers, so not bad so far. Not like some of the horror stories I've heard from others. Yeah, the old diapers and car seats, man. That's a that's t that's a tough life. Multiple multiple children and diapers and car seats. That's uh Whew. I don't think I ever want to go back there. <laughs> you've got you've got every end of the spectrum, Laura. Got it all covered. <laughs> 40 and 43, are they out of diapers? That's a good question. I mean, it's a legitimate question. Yeah, exactly, Marthenis. It's it's a everything you do is a project. Now the diaper question would definitely pertain to your 90 year 98 year old mother-in-law. Got Cheerios between the seats, uh, goldfish. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's good. I hope I'm a uh, trading power hour at age 98. Early indication for the market on close imbalance 1.2 billion on the sell side. I don't, I'm not sure there's anything to that, but. I keep watching it. Oh, stop. So I better pay attention. All right. So, oh, yeah. Tranche one's down to five. Looks like tranche two may get there quicker. Looking for 455 on tranche one. It's currently trading at 530. Tranche two, I'm looking for 245. It's currently trading at 290. What kind of questions does she ask, Wooga? She ask you like about like Sears Roebuck stock. What else? <laughs> what else could have been been around big back then? How's my Sears Roebuck doing?
Tranche two is down to 290, tranche one at 550. Are you asking me, Marthinus? Why is there so much red? A lot of those are opens. Tranche one down to 505. Tranche two down to 275. Oh, <laughs> got it. Which one's going to hit first, tranche one or tranche two? It's going to be a it's close, close race. Tranche one is my 45-55 straddle, so we need to bounce a little bit for that one to hit. My kids have not shown a lot of interest in trading. I have them pick stocks for an account they have, but they think it's they just think it's really boring. Although there was one point where so they they first started picking stocks in their account right right when the pandemic hit. So obviously the market was way down, right? And so they both they they both thought they were geniuses. Um, about a year later, bull market geniuses, kind of like most people that we see on CNBC, really. So there was one period where my oldest was like, "Dad, I think I think I want to be a trader." I was like, "Well, really? Like what? This is." This is a different tune. It, you know, before it was always, oh, it's boring. I don't want to do that. And I was like, what uh, What made you change your mind? He's like, well, I'm really good at it. That's what he said. And, uh, you know, I figured I could just do that and then I can do whatever I want. <laughs> it's like, all right. I didn't, I didn't tell him he was wrong. But that kind of faded away. Tevis, uh, one time when I'm not stressing about open positions, I may need to have a discussion about position account size with you. Can't seem to get it right. I will review my past sizing, but it seems to be off. What do you What do you mean, Tevis? Is that based on like today's loss? You, you feel like it's too big or something? Getting ourselves a little sell-off. Down to 44.49. 20 minutes to go. We don't need a new low of day. That's what we don't need.
So Tevis, that makes me think that you're taking profits too early and your losses are too big. Jim WZ out P power hour saved your day. Nice. Good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Tevis. I think if, if you have a day that wipes out a month of gains, that means you're taking profits too early and your, your losers are too big compared to your winners. Yep, my three five will go on. I'll go ahead and start getting that set up. Thank you, Andrew K. I've got an alarm that'll go off here in a few minutes reminding me. So the three five is my twenty delta. All right, just posted my three five in the calendar channel. Did tranche one get down to two forty? Tranche two got down to two forty five. You guys on the same one? Okay. Thank you. So that needs to go down to four forty four forty five. But I'm going to need a bounce or that one's going to get stopped out. <clears throat> We are creeping down towards lows of day, my friend, my friends. About a half point away.
Didn't quite get there. Getting a little bounce. Let's get back up there above 45, 44, 52. All right, hang in, hanging in there. Dodged a stop out for the time being. Tranche one is trading at 540. I still need 455 on that. It's got to get closer to 4455 for that one to get down. Crunch two and three are trading down to two dollars and twenty cents, two dollars and ten cents. Lando, you trading power hour? Back up around forty four fifty one. VIX up 10% today and still under 14. Oh, it did hit a did hit a new low earlier today, new recent low. I think it was 1273 back in June. Uh, hit a low today of 1268 before ripping higher. Yep, overnight on top of the mountain. Uh-oh, creeping down again. Tranche 2 stops at 445, currently trading at 345. Tranche 3, my stops at 650, trading at 340. Tranche 1, I've not reduced yet. Still at 11.55, currently trading at 5.50. 10 minutes to go, five minutes to exit.
Do your planks, Kelvin. Do your planks. All right. Getting a little green coming in. Tranche two. Oh, I got to reduce tranche one. Uh, let's see this one here. From 455 to 755. All right. Reduce stop on tranche one and two. That's good. That's always a good thing. So the market on close imbalance, the first three indications were 1.2 billion to the sell side. And then the last and final one came in at 67 million to the sell side. So big drop. So let's see if that helps the market drift higher into the close. Two minutes till exit. I'm going to put my tranche three. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Need a bounce here. Trench three is at a buck seventy. Tranche one. Try to get out at 560. Come on, give us a little pop. Little pop. A little soda of Popinski. Filled on tranche one at 560. Filled on tranche three at a buck 70. Filled on tranche two at a buck 35. Nice. Very nice. That feels good. I don't know if I got it all back from this morning, but definitely a big chunk. So let's see, tranche one. Tranche one got in at 755 out at 560. So a couple bucks. Tranche three. No, tranche two got in at 410 out at a buck 35. So that's a nice winner. Tranche three in at 350 out at a buck 70. So about a 50% winner on that one. Awesome. Good stuff. Way to pair it back. 
Hope, hope that helped everybody here. All right, my friends, have a good weekend. Come back recharged, refreshed, ready to roll as far as live streaming goes next week. Uh, let's see. That is going to be Monday the 18th. All right, so the 18th and 19th, Monday and Tuesday, I will be streaming live with you at the open and for power hour. Wednesday is FOMC, so no live stream in the morning, but we'll be streaming during FOMC starting at 12.50 p.m. Central. Thursday, the 21st, no live stream in the morning, but we'll be streaming for power hour. And then Friday, Chad will be streaming in the morning and I'll be streaming for power hour. All right, my friends, have a good weekend. Take care. Talk to you soon.